Hi, I'm Bill Lott. Hi, I'm Mike Doran. Bill and I work at the Queensland University of Technology at the Translational Research Institute in Brisbane, Australia. Hello, is anybody here? This is multimedia. It's a game changer. Grant writing and evaluation are fundamental parts of the research academic culture. Last week in Australia, 3,810 grant proposals were submitted to the National Health and Medical Research Council of Australia. Both the processes of writing and reviewing these grants represent enormous cost burdens. In 2009, each grant was estimated to cost $15,000 to write and a further $3,000 to review. That's nearly $70 million in the writing and review processes alone. The question is, you have $15,000 worth of time to invest into preparing a research grant application and a further $3,000 worth of reviewer's time. Is this hard copy grant application the most effective tool available to communicate your ideas to a review panel? Probably not. If a picture says a thousand words, then a video must say a million. Multimedia video is mainstream, even in science. Biomedical research supply companies are increasingly providing multimedia videos on their website to either advertise to consumers or to instruct consumers as to how to correctly use their products. The Journal of Visualized Experiments exclusively provides videos of experimental methods. The merit and efficiency of video communications are widely appreciated. In fact, the National Institutes of Health even provide videos to instruct applicants as to how to prepare paper-based grant applications. The value of video and animation in science has been appreciated for over a century. In 1878, Edward Maybridge used a series of still images of a horse running to better understand a horse's gait. Maybridge had been hired to settle a debate as to if all four hooves of a horse were off the ground simultaneously when the horse was running. Whilst one still image largely settled the debate, it was the animation of these images that was burned into people's memory and into pop culture for decades. It's the power of video and animation that is unequivocal. We reason that incorporating multimedia video will streamline the granting process by increasing the fidelity of grant communication, improving the efficiency of review, and reducing the cost of the process. So the next question is, what's the best way to incorporate multimedia into the grant writing process? In the first instance, we think a five-minute executive summary would be rational. The executive summary typically has the greatest impact on a review panel, making it the most important component of a grant application. An executive summary would include the following sections. Introduction and background, hypothesis and aims, a brief materials and methods, and significance and innovation. Because you have a video option, you can now include a video or animation of any particular technical aspects of your work that might be difficult to effectively describe in words. Imagine if you had the opportunity to explain your research argument in a video like this to a granting agency. Many reviewers could watch your video simultaneously, then, God forbid, debate the merits of your research. This would enable efficient and robust evaluations. We think this would be a dramatic improvement. As multimedia techniques are already in common use across most facets of society, it is high time that the systems that fund the advancement of science keep pace with the advancements of technology.